joy. Joy was the child of the sun and summer itself. She was born on a warm summer night, and the stars and the moon kept watch over her until the morning. She was a fairy child, the spirit of summer. Where her feet touched the ground, grass and flowers grew wild, and the butterflies followed her wherever she went. And she ran with her arms outstretched towards the sky, and the trees sprouted around her to give shade to the owls and bats and all the creatures of the night for whom the sunlight was too bright. She radiated warmth, so that even the nights in the summer weren't cold. Her mind and her soul and all of her was free, enough to fly. She sang and she danced and spun all around in circles, and the world echoed the sound of her laughter. And she would not cut her hair, or put shoes on her feet, or stop running, or leave the water. She spent ages in the wilds, and refused to go to sleep when the sun went down. She was a wild child, chaotic, and reckless, and free. And every year, in the midst of the summer, she would lose herself just a little, and get a bit carried away. The world would burn with blazing heat, and if it caught fire, she would touch the flames as if they were nothing but water. The fire was enchanting to her mesmerizing. It crackled and glowed in the irises of her eyes, and she would not notice until long after the flame had gone out. She was just staring at the world, and at nothing, and at everything. And as the summer began to fade, another figure would come lurking around the corner, a mysterious and silent boy with a kind smile and soft, gentle hands, the spirit of foe whose name she never knew, because he did not speak, and she would stay for as long as she could, and watch the leaves turn all sorts of colors, and every end of summer they would fall in love, and her warmth would fade away as the fall grew closer, for a while they'd be together, just for a short summer romance, and the boy would remember her long after she had vanished. And every year, when spring was about to end, Joy, who was the child of the sun and summer itself, would be reborn again, with only vague memories of him, as if from a half-forgotten dream. And where her feet touched the ground, grass and flowers would grow wild, and the butterflies followed her, wherever she went. And that is the story of Joy, the child of the sun and the summer itself. Thank you for listening and watching.